All right. I'm so hot, bro. Yeah, I know. I feel like sweat. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 Let's focus. Uh, lesson today. Basically teaching you how to use the fast back to find the probability. All right? So you need to be able to find the probability or the actual value if you are given the probability. So using your class pad and some technique of using it. All right? So you also need to understand when you draw your, um, when you draw your normal distribution curve, you may have left, central or right tails, all right? I'll explain that in a few minutes. That is basically the area under the graph. Yesterday, I talked to you about the 68, 95% and 99.7% rule. So basically, you're looking at 68% is one um, standard deviation either side of the mean. 95% it's two standard deviation either side of the mean and 99.7% is three standard deviation either side of the mean. And these are all representing the probability, all right? And these are the area under the curve. Mm. So the area that under the curve for a normal distribution is one. Now, the mean itself could be standardized into a z-score. And it could be, uh, if it is standardized, the standard is normal distribution, the mean is zero. And sigma is one. So it's one, two, and three, all right? So when we write when we write normal distribution, if you're using the actual data, capital X is uh, represented by normal distribution with uh, an, a mean of mu and a, and a standard de standard deviation of sigma. But we write this as sigma square. All right. So you may have something like n and 100, and this would be, let's say, to make life easier, uh, 16. So therefore, it's actually n. 100 is the mean, and 4 is the standard deviation. Yeah. Or standardized score, z, is uh, normally distributed with a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1. All right? So today, what we're going to do is we're going to look for something which is in between. The probability of something which is in between uh, one and two sigma or whatever, whatever numbers. All right? You're going to use your class pad. You can use your class pad with your, the actual data or the, uh, or the standardized data. Now, so if you consider a um, continuous random variable, which is normally distributed, and you're given that the distribution has a mean of 120 and a sigma standard deviation of 5. So, what we could do is construct a bell-shaped curve. Bell-shaped curve, right at this, the peak is 120, right? That is the mean, and then one standard deviation, two standard deviation, and three standard deviation. So, we could use the 68%, 95%, and 99.5% rule to determine probability, for example, between 115 and 125, and so on and so forth, all right? Anything with these numbers here, the, within, right at the um, uh, standard deviation, one or two or three standard deviation, you could use this 68%, 99%, and 99.7% rule. But what if we, some, we want something which is that bit there? X is less than 107. How do we do it? No. Class pair. <coughs> yeah, class pair or... In the days when I was doing my studies, we actually used table like this. We got to work out the z-score. From the z-score, you see what happened is it is that if you got a z-score, there's a standard uh, probability for normal distribution. It's a cumulative probability. So if everything's under the curve from minus infinity to here, you can find from the table. And if it is minus 2.6, go around here. Probability is uh, 0 0.0047. So you, got, you actually got to read the table. It's a lot of trouble. I remember doing all this with sign, cost, and hand. And after a while, your eyes just go crazy. So the table is actually for 
the standard normal distribution. All right? Now, so let's use your class map. So we know that this is uh, normally distributed, normal distribution with the uh, mean of 120 and 5 squared. All right, two ways of doing it. I am going to show you statistics, and then I'm going to show you interactive. There are reasons why I suggest you using statistics and not interactive. All right, let's go and have a look. I'm going to sit down here so that I can drive this. All right, go to statistics. Make sure that you clear all the data. I mean, seriously, you will not need need list this of data data if you've got anything in there. You can clear it. So go to calc. This time, go to distribution. All right. Now, under distribution, you pick normal CD. Normal CD. Not normal PD. If you pick normal PD, you'll be in trouble. Now, the other thing that I think is helpful is you tap on help. Help will give you the information you need. All right? That really shows you. And then if you tap on next, you've got a lower and upper boundary. And then you've got a sigma, you've got a mu. All right, let's go back to my lesson slide. So, here. Now, I've made note for you as in the lower boundary. Use the actual value if you're using this, which means the, you're using the actual value of mean and standard deviation. Use that scores if you're using the standard normal distribution. All right? Now, here, the default for class bet is actually the standard normal distribution. So you could take one extra step to calculate the Z score before you put in the lower and upper boundary. If not, you could change this to your uh, actual mean and actual standard deviation. Now, the issue is the standard deviation is before the uh, mean. And personally, I've done so many mistakes by typing the mean first and then the standard deviation. All right? That is a warning. You got to remember, this is the um, standard deviation. This is the mean. There's so many times I was trying to solve a problem that I said, I couldn't get the answer. What's wrong with it? Then I realized that that was the issue. All right. So get used to it. So if you go, let's go back to here. All right. Now, the lower and upper boundary. In this situation, so nice. Let's step next. Okay, hang on. I'm going to give a lower boundary and upper boundary. All right, go back to my slide. Here, what you need is, think about where the boundary is, just using this as an example. All right? So it could be, let's say this is uh, 1.2. All right? If you want probability of uh, this is because it's standard, um, standard, this uh, normal distribution, I'm going to use that less than 1.2. If Z is less than 1.2, it's just this bit. All right, the area under this bit of the curve. Now, another example, if I have got somewhere which is here, this is 1.5. All right? So if I want probability of z greater than 1.5, is this region here. Yeah. All right? You've got to think about what region you are in. So you know what the lower boundary is, and this is the upper boundary. Whereas in this case, this is the lower boundary, 1.5, and that's the upper boundary. Yeah. So the lower boundary in this case for uh, z less than 1.2 is actually, what is lower boundary? You don't know. So it's negative infinity. So the upper boundary in this case is positive infinity. All right? Now, also, if you're looking at between 1.2 and 1.5, let's say, probability of 1.2, Z is between 1.2 and 
be okay. So it's just here. The lower boundary will bend be 1.2 and the upper boundary will be 1.5. All right? So make sure that you know what your lower boundary is and upper boundary is. All right, know the boundaries. Now, so for our question, we now want it to be less than 107. All right? And if we go to class bed, let's do the actual value first. Go to class bed. Now, negative infinity. Negative infinity is in keyboard math 2. Yeah. And minus infinity. Make sure that you put in minus infinity. And upper is 107. I used up. Don't you need to search school? 107, sorry? No. You can. I will talk to you. I will, I will show you that score in a few minutes. I'm just going to use uh, normal. Don't use no more. Uh, you use actual value. You see, the, the, the good thing about using actual value is you don't have, you don't have to calculate uh, the Z score for those two. Yeah. You can straight away put in uh, the standard deviation, which is 5. 7. You get pi. And uh, yes, mean up. which is 120. All right. Oh, now, if you do this, you tap next. Yeah. It gives you the probability as well as the Z score for yeah. uh, for the upper boundary, which is minus 2.6, and for the lower lower boundary, which is minus 2 e to the power of 9998, which is infinity. Yeah. All right. So you could. You could use, but if you use a Z score, you've got to work out minus two first. And then you've got five and uh, put in your standard deviation and your. You programmed it. Your. Um, no. Me. It looks like now, so I never the it. reason oh. why I'm asking you, I'm showing you how to use it from statistics is you can at the top button tap on each. If you tap on it, you will be able to draw the curve and. All right, I did, I did pick a value that clear. The next one you will see. This one, you can see that from your calculator, there's a little bit of shading there. All right, the shading is somewhere there. It should be, this is 1, 2, okay. minus 2.6. You can just see that, just that little bit. I know it's hard to see, but you should be able to do it. The next example, you can see the shading quite well. Now, using statistics you can draw. Let's go back to your main. I will show you, you could use uh, interactive as well. If you go to main, I'll clear everything. All right, under interactive, go to distribution, continuous, and your normal CDF. You could do that as well. It's not an issue. It will give you a lower and upper boundary. So your lower boundary is um, Again, infinity. negative infinity. Oh, now this time I'm going to do the Z score because I've already worked out the Z score just now, which is minus two point six. All right, and tap OK. You can't draw the graph, but it gives you the information here. So you could use something like this. This is just the command. Times zero. Times zero. Normal CDF minus infinity to the upper bound. Uh, minus 2.6, and that is so um, your standard deviation, and that's your mean. How do you stop it from giving it in? Yeah. You just uh, gotta know, man. Chef juggle. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Alright, ready for this? Wow. So, that oh, is nice. what you could do. <laughs> now, you could try this as well. If you want to try this, as in um, is that a using, if you copy That's crazy. and paste it down, all right? This time, minus, go back to using your actual data, which is 107, I think. And then the standard deviation is 5, and this is 120. You should get the same answer. However, using this, it will not give you the Z score. All right. I get hungry every time you do that. Using interactive will not give you the Z score. Only use the, the using the statistics oh, will. So if you go back to statistics <laughs> and use calc distribution, normal CD, 
this time, but again, technique help. That's that's pretty good. That's so that you know what it is. Low boundary uh, minus infinity. Upper boundary is uh, minus two point six. And gave me the wrong number. you can like again tap help. You know what it is. Upper and lower boundary, and this is the standard deviation, and this is the population mean. Tap next, and it gives you the probability. <laughs> All right. So it's actually, it's actually pretty good. You can use both interactive, or you can use um, um, statistics, or I think the other one you could use is action as well. Under action. <laughs> It could be distribution. So there are three ways of using the normal CDF. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, back to lesson slide. <laughs> All right. So next one. Hell yeah. I've shown you Z score. You get the same thing. Let's let's do probability x greater than one one eight. X greater than one one eight. Yep. So x greater than one one eight because it's greater. <laughs> Is from 1182 infinity. Yes. You can use that score if you like, but you could use uh, just the actual value and then draw the graph. See if you can get the same graph as I do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Alright? Here I use Z score. No, I, uh, yeah, I did use Z score. <laughs> Alright. So try and see if you can grab the graph. You That's see, the graph oh. actually helps you to check your answer. Yeah, Whether it's uh, greater than, yeah. greater than is always yes. above that, <laughs> above the number you want. If not, oh. less than is the other side. All right? Oh. Always check your shading, mm -hmm. my suggestion. Yeah, sure. All right? Yeah. yeah. Got it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yep. Got it. Got it. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Now, can you try this, please? Yeah. Use your. I am not going to guide you through <laughs> your calculator, but you need to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. Yes, Queen. And write it out in proper pro proper probability Brother, come on, yeah. format. Yeah. Shut up, mate. Twenty. Write it down in proper probability format. Let's go back. Give me some back shots. <laughs> For real. What did he do? It's okay. Bro. <laughs> oh my. Hey, man, you're sick of once in back shots. Hey, you shut your shut your Call this number. <laughs> yeah, <I'm either. laughs> Wait, don't get fooled, Axel. It's three, not nine, right? I put three, mate. Did you? Yeah. Nah, no, you probably did. Stop capping, man. Did you see? Mm. Get capping, bro. bro. Get that shit out of my face, man. It's not in your face because you're in It's in. Let's get it, I'm ready. So you know that the 0 0.9, 3, 3, 3, 1, 1 9. Three. That's one of the veggies. 9! It's nine. not 9, square root. Yeah, Jules. Standard deviation, remember your square root. Yeah, Jules. I Dumb put, mistake. All right. 20, I put 3, man. Dumb mistake, Jules. I said it's nine. 3, 9. And 3. Square root of that. It's 0 0.9, 3. It's actually 9331, but... Four decimal places. When you come to probability calculation, yeah, two four places. decimal nine. places. Is it a two? I don't know. It has to be four <laughs> decimal places, It's a four DP, right? bro. So that if you write four it to percentage, no. it's two decimal places. So four decimal places. I hate doing infinity. So first one to is... To infinity. 0.9332. I got it all. 0. 0.84132. Yeah, and the next one, 0 0.7248. Yeah, you want to do one on the floor, man. So that one, it's pretty, you see, something like this. <laughs> Sometimes, you don't have that. You're not given a graph. You're only given this. Sometimes you're not given a graph, you're only given this. So if you're only given this, when you use stats, you can actually check the number. Yeah. Check the shading. Check Sorry, what is this? That's right. weird. One match is already now, against now, what if you're given the probability? Hey, what if you're given the probability? Oh, we what don't else? know. We're now going to determine what K is. All right, there are three situations there. 
<laughs> oh, reverse. Oh. You're going to reverse. You're going to use the inverse oh, CDF. Yeah. Inverse CDF. How do you do that? Ah, ah. that's the thing. Ah. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> Distribution. So with the inverse CDF. Where's that? <laughs> All right. It's under Here. the student's body. In. You need oh, to be able sense. to recognize the tail. Ah. Whether it's left tail, right tail, Loft or center. Ah. All right. Let's stop for a minute. Wait. Wait. So, when you draw your... Do probably the <coughs> normal Ooh. probability distribution. Alright? So, if it is less than, like I say, no. this is the left tail. Yep. Left tail. The one piece. So. Alright. That is the left tail. And then from here, let's say something is greater than that. But if it's in the middle, that's it. This is the right tail. Alright. Now, when you are in the middle, the center, Ooh. this situation here, if it is center, mm -hmm. this distance must be the same as that distance. Oh, yeah. not all right. Yeah. It has to be symmetrical. So you can't do. So that. center, you've got to think about this distance here and that distance here. It has to be. It has to be uh, symmetrical. If it's if not, it cannot be centered. Yeah. So what about all right. That? Now. We have a fourth Don't situation we'll talk about in a few minutes. Yeah, okay, no, sorry about that. Which is not left tail, right tail, or center. It's like you would have situation like this. From here to say phone. here. Yeah, you know that the distance from here is different from the distance from that. Yeah. Yeah. So that will be the fourth situation. <gasps> so you need to know your left, your right, and your center, plus the other four, the other two situations. The other one situation where this could be longer than this or this could be longer. All right? Happy with that? If you're happy with that, I'll go back to the lesson slide. Wait, so what, what do you put in here? You this, you put this in. All right. Now, so this situation is left tail. So you must. Okay, from, from your, again, your <laughs> statistics, Wait, did you go to inverse distribution. This time it's inverse distribution, and it, it has to be inverse normal CD. <coughs> All right? Tail setting. You must it's remember your tail setting. Like, oh, that is right. important. It's going from right to left. All right? If it was from left to right. Last, then. Once yeah. you've done that, you will find what K is. Oh, that's so nice. Put in the probability and you'll be able to find K. So, if we, let's do it together. 500? Yeah, I've got 500 too. Oh, uh, it's, a, it's a perfect number in this case. Perfect. It's like me. Alright? Yeah, sure. So, 500 pounds in my Use your class bag. This time, <laughs> go to KFC Cravings. Then you. The hitting. We're sending KFC as a class back Statistics, where's statistics? No, don't do that. Don't With yeah. statistics. No, so go to CALP, inverse distribution, Sorry. inverse normal CD. Two shows. Two. Next. <laughs> so the tail setting, now tap on help. It will tell you whether it's right, center, or left. KFC pancakes. All right, I, I want. Uh, oh, uh, is it the first one is. Whatever. Every time. Less than. Less than is left. So the probability is 0 0.0668. Eight. All right. And you know that this is 512. And that is 8. All right. So it makes. Oh, hang on. See, that the way around. Typically, typical mistake that I make. Silly boy. All right. So if you tap next, five hundred. Yes. Someone's sleeping. 
It's just basically interpreting the question and knowing how to use it. All right. So you know that this is left tail. The next one would be right tail. Levels, don't worry. All right. Right tail. You to seven by seven mania. You know that the shading has to be <laughs> I did, I did on the other side. Mania, of worry. course. When you go in this situation, you can tap on that to check. Check your shading. Make sure that you know oh, where check, it is. Check it. So if I do B which is greater, hey, I will go back, I just simply tap back and then go to uh, not center, right, all right? This time will be 0 0.30853.75 and I don't have to change the sigma and mu, next. Is 516 and draw the graph. See, the graph really shows you where it is. Be sure. Of course, you can go through main using action or interactive. Let's use action this time. Uh, continuous. Uh, I want inverse. All right. Inverse normal CDF. See, action, it doesn't give you the box to fill in. So if you don't. I mean, if you're not familiar with it, I'd rather you use um, interactive or use um, your stats. So if I use interactive, I know I've got the guidance. Yeah, happy with that? So I can go to tail setting. Probably this time is up wrong. I tapped the wrong thing. So here, inverse distribution. CDF, right, and I want the probability to be 0 0.30, 85375, and then that is 8 and 512. All right, step okay. See, what I'm not familiar with using action is, I could, couldn't could remember what that was. All right, so, Avoid, I would say avoid using action. Always use interactive or use stats. Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, really put it this way, none of us are so familiar with class bed that we know exact all the commands. Yeah. So, unless you're very familiar with it, it's hard. All right, now the next one, situation three is when we have center. All right, center itself. What I show you is, you must make sure that this point here and this point here, they are equidistant from the, um, the mean. So that is, because the mean is 512, so this is 512 minus k, this is 512 plus k. You can find the distance with, from 512, all right? So if you go to, um, statistics again or whatever you were doing it could be interactive I li like I say I like statistics that help inverse distribution inverse normal CD next center the probability would be uh, tail setting the probability is 0.5 and sigma hey, hang on it's not 5.5 .5, it's 0.5 Sigma is oh, eight, yeah. mu is five one two, and next. Two. All right, it gives you, um, it gives you the value from five one two. So in this case, yeah. you know that. <coughs> hey, five one two plus k equals to five one seven point three nine five nine two. All right, <coughs> 512 minus K equals to um, 506.60408. So therefore, to find K is that number, take away 512. Yeah. All right? Or you can use uh, 512, take away 506. Like four and again, you can draw it. You can see that it's symmetrical. Alright? 
So you can work out k to be 5.39592. Straightforward? Yeah. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, what if the area something? between the finite bounds is not symmetrical about the mean? All right? That should be if. So take, for example, if you've got a standard normal distribution of um, mean of uh, 0 and standard deviation of 1. You ask to calculate the probability between minus 8 and k. So what do we do? All right, now, oops. I have no idea what that minus 0.8 or minus k is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something. I have split this. I know when. What those? All right. So now, from here, I use the I use this. If I draw the distribution. All right. Not very well. You know this bit is 0 0.8, minus 0 0.8, this is k. Alright? So, if I want to split the region into two regions, this bit here, z is less than 0 0.8 is there. Alright? <coughs> Changing the color of the pen. This bit here is actually below that. It includes a rate. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. So therefore, you what I did here is to split this into two regions. One region, the larger one, take away the smaller region. So that becomes that. Yeah. Alright? Here, why did I do this? Because okay. you, can't, you can't do it otherwise. You can't do it otherwise. You can do it. Uh, I'll show you how to use soft in a few minutes, but let's do this first. So here, we can calculate probability of z less than 0 0.8. Alright? Mm. So you know what is the probability here. Right? Zero is less than 0, minus 0 0.8. Not 0 0.8, minus 0 0.8. You know that. You also know that this is given as 0 0.75. Yep. Yeah? So we rewrite this. We rewrite P. Go back. Go back one slide. So we re rewrite this. We know this value. We know. So we know. We know this value. Sorry. We know this value is less than zero. Po uh, is e equals to zero point five. Z is between minus point eight and K is zero point five. We also use the calculator to work out the probability of uh, less than. 0 0.8, right? Yeah? So you then, therefore, you know that probability of this is just probability of this plus that. And then you do your inverse to find your k. Yeah? So, once you've done that, you work out this, and then use your inverse to find your k to four decimal places. 1.7726. But isn't the red 0.5? Red 0 0.5 is given. Mm, yeah, but you've got 0.75. Yeah, why is it 0.75? It's 0.5. Why did I type 0.5? I have no idea. You didn't type 0.5. I have, not, I have no idea why did I type 0.5. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, what's going is, on? Is it 0.5 or 0.75? Because uh, in, the, in the slide before, you said 0.5. It's 0.5. Uh, no, I think it's 0.75. Sorry, it's 0.75. Oh. Wait, so it's 0.75. My fault why? is 0.75. I think, I think it's 0.75. Looking at the number is 0.75. My fault. Huh? Why? No, it makes sense. Why? It's just given, that's all. It makes sense. It's small Yeah. It looks more like 75. What looks like 75? The distribution, the shaded region. I just took it out from this ice example, so. Yeah, blame on her. I know, I don't blame on her. I blame on me typing the wrong thing. Alright, I think it's 0.5. I blame it on me for typing the wrong thing. My ball. Uh, I think I just broke my glass band. 
Yeah, two, two yeah. Is, is 0.75. It's my fault. I'm typing the wrong thing. It's so, like, you know, when you like count right. and like, you like touch So, the now, the other way of doing it, <laughs> no, second way of doing it, you could use, it's up to you. You could use salt. Alright? Now, when you use salt, can you go to your classmate in main, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright. When you do your solve, once you type in solve, what you need to do is input your um, normal CDF in here. So solve and then straight away go to interactive, continuous, and go to your normal CDF. And then continuous. Continuous and normal, normal CDF. More solutions makes it. No, it didn't. Alright. What? Why is X negative? Yeah. Alright. And then from there, it will ask you to input information. Now, the next step is going to be a bit more confusing because classmate will come up with more solution may exist and that sort of thing. Alright. Here, you need to put in your lower boundary, which is minus 0.8. Upper boundary we don't know, so we call it X. Okay. Class back automatically solve for X. And then um, we know that the standard deviation is 1 and the mean is 0. Once you tap OK, you see that the problem, what it's trying to do is try to solve this. It really can't solve this because there's no equal sign. Yes. Right? It will give you an answer, but this doesn't make sense. All you need is, all you really want is this line here. Copy, copy this line down to the next bit and include your equals to 0 0.75. All right? You must include your zero, equals to 0 0.75 and solve it. Then it will give you x equals to 1.77263. Same answer. Again, it will come up with more solution may exist, but that is the, that is the one you use. <laughs> so you can see that using solve, you need to go through a few process. And what I'm mainly concerned is this bit. That is uh, confusing people. You might just plug the answer out of there, which is not right. Yeah, yeah. You have to make sure that that's an equal, equal sign. So I don't normally recommend people use this. But for a quick one, if you want to really do it, you, you can. All right? Just make sure that you put in your equal, whatever, 0 0.75. Isn't this the area? Bro, I, I broke my classmate. My classmate doesn't mean, know. So avoid, I mean, it, it won't work. as if, you if you know, know that this is not yeah. right, no, like, if you know this two step and copy that down and put the equal sign in, you'll be fine. All right? If not, it's a, uh, can be a bit more confusing. <laughs> now you're thinking. I've been thinking all time. All right, next. So a class class example. Can you use your class bed to do this? Don't get me started on now, here, no, it's still broken. Bro. What I've done is I use I've indicated here X and X because they are the same. Yep. I can use solve or whatever to find. So it's four plus X equals to K. You need to find K. All right, 4 minus x is there, 4 plus x, k is 4 plus x, yeah? I will do, let's, let's do that. So the, let's do question three first. That was the interesting one. I was playing around with it last night. I like that question. So, I, if I go to class back. Wait, actually? Yeah. So I can go to, uh, let's clear all first. Uh, go back, go back. So inverse, inverse normal CD, next. So the tail is, yeah, probability is 2 times 26814, is that right? 28814. 28814, thank you. All right. 
And uh, 2.4 and 5.5. Standard deviation of 2 and mean of 4. All right, thanks. So you see you've got the value of k already on the bank k, 2.4 or 5.99. So this one, it helps you find your k. Now, if you use your main, all right, you can tap on that. You've got, that. You, you've got uh, the plot. Inverse, you mean? All right. So if you go to solve, uh, go to main. If I go to solve, oh my god, solve, interactive, interactive, distribution, inverse distribution, normal CDF. So the tail setting now is still center. The probability is two times. 0.28814 and that is 2 and that's 4 yeah. alright and tap ok well how can it be no solution oh I know why that's 2 times not 2 SD of 2 hang on hang on hang on something is wrong I saw it last night. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, no idea where I went wrong, but <laughs> if, <laughs> if I put in a what did it do? Wait, why? What are the seasons? Oh. Just go oh, to center and probably okay. use five, two times that. Three point two eight. Why didn't you get one point six again? So you don't need to solve. Yeah, I don't know where I went wrong, but so you don't need to solve. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you don't need to solve, sorry. My fault. Yep. If you give me the answer 2.2.40, 2. it will give you one side only, not the other side. So if you want to find the other side, it's take away the... Oh wait, wait, because you need to do 0. Oh actually, no. So if you look at this, what will happen is... Go back. What will happen is it will give you only one of the side. No, it will zero, give no, you the no, lower tail. Yeah. All right. It will give you this. What? It will give you this if you use soft. So in this sort of situation, I recommend you using your um, using your stats. Use stats. Use that. I mean, I mean, if you did 0 0.88, use that. Use that. Alright, use that for that one. Wait, sir. Instead of using uh, solve, yeah. K is 2.4. Yeah, it's 2.4. 5 points. 2.4 is. Oh, no, that'll be the lower band. The other end, lower band. So if you use solve, you get the lower band, you don't get the upper band. So you want, you want K to be here. So 4 minus 2.4 2. 2. is 1.6, 1.6, 1. 1.6 on the other side, yep. When would you have to do k minus 4? Because is that when you have to have all that? That is when you find the distance k minus 4. Can you divide this by 2? Alright, so if you're given 4 plus k and 4 minus k, that is k is that distance. But now, this is the point, it's the point of k here. It's not like how many standard deviations. No, it's not how many standard deviations anymore. It's just like a number line. Yeah. Any, any number, it's no, no longer standard deviation. Alright, so if you, all right, if you use solve, you'll get the lower bound, not the upper bound, which means you're going to use 4, take away x, uh, take away the lower bound, and then add 4 if you want to find the upper bound. But if you want to find the lower bound, you can go straight to use uh, solve. Alright? And the answer for the others are... Yeah, no, it is right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you get the lower yeah. bound. So you yeah. do 4 minus the lower bound gives you the distance. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then you add that to 4. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then add that to yeah. 4, you get the same thing. Yeah. It is, oh, yeah. yeah. You find the lower bound here is 2.4. Yeah. 4, take away that is 1.6. 4 plus 1.6. So, in fact, it's probably a little bit easier if you use, uh, if you use um, whatever you call it. Stats. Uh, stats. All right, what stats will give you... The lower and upper bound. Put K is upper bound. The middle number. All right. So I'm going to stop here. Yeah.